Good morning. I'm up at the farm again, as you can see. <clears throat> and I'm going to put toothpicks on the tomatoes. And here's the onions that I watered the other day. They look pretty good. They've been trimmed. See the edges, the ends, I mean. Um, so they're not just like long leggy. It gives them more energy to make a little bit of a bigger bulb. And over here are parsley. Um, let's see. I know this tomatoes. Looks like nasturiums. This might be asparagus. This, not too sure. Not too sure about that one. Parsley's, um, parsley in a, who knows. This, oof, I'm guessing that's a flower. I'm not too good with the flowers, but more parsley. I do a lot of parsley at the parsley plant sale. And I'm going to be potting up some um, local varieties. <clears throat> But we're going to go for a little walk. I believe they're planting up in the um, back field. They're doing potatoes today. So we'll go for a walk. And the row covers made it through the rain yesterday, which is always nice. Isn't it pretty up here? like to take my house and just relocate it. I think right to where I have the car parked would be a good spot. But I'm sure a lot of people think that. <sighs> the family who did live up here, I know, they're still sad about having to leave. But <clears throat> things where they are the way they are is if you don't have there are a lot of family or a lot of stuff going on at the time that they left I do believe it was probably some medical and some that there was a lot going on that people just didn't care about farms for a long time they figured food just automatically came out of vending machines or something <laughs> But now I'm glad <clears throat> people are getting back into um, things being more natural. It is much better for you. These, this here is mostly, um, I think this is still winter rye, and it's going to be plowed in. And that down at the bottom, the same thing is down um, by the other greenhouse. And... Um, that's going to get plowed in and he's going to do buckwheat so he can give the, the field a rest. Those plants actually are resting the um, soil. They generate nutrients and they increase a lot of things. So, and here we are. And this is the lock I made <laughs> because the other thing broke it was too flimsy so I made it so that it'll stop pretty clever huh not so bad for an old broad Ugh. and our locking system for when it gets really windy just in case and these are our tomatoes yay oh, they look good wow okay and the reason why I am coming up here is that. Not sure if it's cutworm, if it just broke from wind or what, but there's two. Um, and it looks like it's been replanted. There was one over here too. I don't see it. So he must have come up with a, oh, there it is. Yeah, he replanted it. There's another one that was just broke off right there. Oops, can't see it right there. So um, the chances that they just broke off in the wind are kinda, kinda slim. 
So, he says, I'm going to do my handy dandy anti cutworm thing, which I should have done or should have been done when they were planted because at a certain point it becomes ineffective. I'll show you how simple this is. Right? You take toothpicks. Usually I prefer the flat ones, you know, the, re the regular flat toothpicks that are like narrower at one end and fatter at the other. For number one, you can get a box of them for like a quarter. And there's like a million in there. But all I could find was these round ones, like dinner toothpicks. These will work too. They don't disintegrate as quickly. So you might be careful when you're walking barefoot like me. I'm always barefoot. So you want to be a little bit more careful. But let me get one here that's doesn't have these in the way all right and the simplest thing you just take toothpick on one side toothpick on the other side and that will prevent you from having cutworms if you're not holding a phone and you're just doing it especially while you're planting it takes no time at all you just sit there Toothpick, toothpick. Doesn't have to be really technical, close. Close is good. It doesn't have to be like right there. To do this whole greenhouse will probably take me maybe 20 minutes once I drop the phone. Well, I'm not going to drop it actually, but I am going to put it down and pause it. Okay, how simple is that? That will keep cutworms away from your tomatoes. Pretty nifty, huh? So let me pause this, get this done, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, here's something I wanna show you. Um, upon thinking, this was a tomato plant. I don't know who planted it, not deep enough. I'm gonna show you how to plant a tomato plant that's been started. Um, what we have, I'm replacing those cutworm things and we have these that were started in our greenhouse I guess uh, when they start is usually February here this is Rhode Island and um, we start them ourselves these tomato plants are rubellas and this is the one he likes to put in this back greenhouse it does very very well and it sells very well it tastes good which is most important but it looks good and people like it so um, I'm replacing these ones that were dug and what I'm thinking it's not cutworm because it's too high and I did find another stem broken in two places which means it's definitely not cutworm so um, let me see if I can find that one <sighs> it was over here there's another one broken in two places see it's broken here and it's not cut off that was the other thing that's really really important um, a cutworm will actually cut it right off and it's generally right at soil level but this one is the one no it's not but I saw one and it had a break in two places now see this one's relatively fresh I'll bet you this one just happened short time ago so not much we can do about that. I probably could have staked that up and let it go. <sighs> we'll see. Um, where's the other one? There's another one around. Uh, but but up there's that one. But there is another one. See, I thought he had replaced, but he didn't. Um, but there's a couple that they look kind of peaked. So I'm like, I bet just they're getting whipped with these strings. So I'm going to end up um, tying them. But for now, I'm going to replace these two plants that have been damaged. So, you dig the hole, and this already has, um, we use an organic fertilizer, and a, uh, it's called Vermont Compost. And um, I, with the sun, and there's a little bit of dust on my screen here so I can't really see what I'm doing I'm hoping I'm getting this in but you want it to be pretty deep um, when you're doing a tomato when you plant it it will get roots all the way up the stem as deep as you plant it 
and that will help so that in periods see even though you water down here it's it, it gets dry so you want it to be a little deep where the roots can stay cool which also helps the plant so um, this is tough because I wasn't expecting to do this I would have brought my tripod but well, snap off the stems I would go deeper but um, actually I will I'm going to be down if I was at home I would plant it right up to here but I'm going to plant them as deep as he did the other so that they all work around the same time so it's REB for Rebecca or Rubelita, Rub something like that. All right. Um, I'm going to have to put down the phone for one second. Okay, just a second. Okay, that, <laughs> as you can see now. Okay. And I will toothpick it. And they don't, but I like to put like a little gully around so that the water will pool there. And I will go get the water in a few minutes water that one and finish doing the end of this other row so but we really need to get some water up here that's better than this okie dokie so I have tied up the strings until they're necessary they're just high enough some of them are very high because they're near the windows but um, they're high enough so that they won't be um, wrapping around the plants and breaking them off so hopefully that will help I've watered each one a little bit I'll come back and water some later I am thinking of maybe because this may be a while and up here we do have this watering problem maybe taking a long piece of PVC and drilling some holes in it so that it lays flat and like you put the water in a funnel and then it would drizzle along the plants. I don't know how well that would work. Um, I'm thinking if the holes are on top, the pipe would have to be full to drizzle, so it would do the whole length. And um, could be worth a try. I've got a whole bunch of old. PVC that is not good for anything because I do tend to save stuff because I will need it someday and maybe I can figure out a way to glue them together and like little joints and drill a whole bunch of holes and give it like a little test shot doesn't have to do the whole length it can do half at a time that could work it really could so there we go we will see what happens but I want to let you know and now we're going to lock her up for the day. Well, I don't know about the day, but that's it for tomatoes for today. So, oops, wrong side first. Be smart. Here we go. And my handy dandy lock. Clever, huh? Can't go any farther go any farther except that looks like somebody didn't get it and actually broke it already but that's what happens what can you do I did come up and I found the whole thing was like somebody took it out <laughs> I think they were pulling on this and broke it pulling on this because you could go like I did make it so that you could just in case you could get it out and it was upside down so I will have to put another handle on here so that maybe people will get it <laughs> so but if you ever need to lock anything up for like free that's that was basically free so okie dokie I'm going to pick up my stuff and I'm going to get back so that was such a fun not incredibly fun but this is the blueberries it's going to be a good blueberry year check it out all those whites are flowers if you've never seen blueberry flowers okay they set up at the end of the season and um, when it comes springtime they make the flowers this bumblebee 
there's a lot of regular bees, but there's a big old fat bumblebee. So it's very, very pretty. But they set up at the end of the season. And in the spring, they make the flowers and they get pollinated. And that's how you get your blueberries. And all these flowers let you know it's going to be a great season this year. So that's it for now. I hope everybody has a good day. And until I start getting bees thinking that I want to get it to their blueberries, I'm going to get going. Have a good day. And until next time, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.